Hi everyone, I'm Art, back with some more Movavi tips. Now, I've been using Movavi for a while, but one of the features I haven't had much use for is Highlight and Conceal. But when I saw that they added a new capability in the recent update called Motion Track to Highlight and Conceal, I got a little bit curious about how I might be able to use this. And as luck would have it, I have two projects I'm working on where this actually may come in handy. Now, if you've used Highlight and Conceal in the past and you have some ideas of where, the, where you've used it, please share with those with us in the comments down below. And while you're there, hit like if you've enjoyed these videos and if they've helped you in any way. Let's get started by adding my two video clips to the timeline. In the first example, I'm doing a walk around of a vehicle, but I would like to blur the license plate. I'm going to go ahead and split the video between the walk to the right and walk to the left just to show some differences. Then I will select Tools and Highlight and Conceal. And you can see I start with the default black rectangle mask. Now I want to change that to a pixelated squares mask, so I select that option and then I'll adjust my rectangle size to cover the license plate. If I go into mask properties, I can make some adjustments for the pixelated mask that you can, where you can control the size of the pixels. For other masks you choose, you get some other options and we'll talk about that later. But then we can go to the new motion option and you will see you have some instructions and then two choices, quick and precise. Quick is something you would use where your area of interest is stationary and precise you would use if your area of interest is moving. It's not perfect, but it is pretty good. For this first one, I will choose precise because there's a lot of sway as I'm walking around the vehicle. I then select track and it starts processing. You will notice for precise, this can take a bit of time, so I'll speed it up here a little bit. And when it finishes, here's what we have. Pixel conceal stays over the license plate pretty well. In this next clip, we're just walking past the car. I'll use pixelated rectangle again, adjust the size and location to cover the plate. And this time I'll use the quick option since the motion of me walking back is pretty constant and the plate isn't moving. You can see the quick option process is much faster and here it was what we have at the end. Okay, let's try the highlight option now. So it's basically the same thing. You're dealing with an area of interest in the video clip you wanna highlight this time instead of conceal. So this was a safari clip I used in one of my adventure videos. We are passing by several types of animals, but I want to focus the audience's attention on the zebras in the background. So first, let's zoom in so we can see them a little bit better. I will use tools, pan and zoom, and adjust my keyframe sizes and location. And then since I want to zoom in and then zoom back out, I'll go ahead and add two more keyframes by right-clicking on the clip and adding keyframes in the pan and zoom option. Now those will start out the same size as the previous keyframe, so I just have to adjust the final one back out to full screen. So now I have a zoom in to see the zebras a little bit better. Then I will go to the Highlight and Conceal tool, and this time I will use one of the highlight masks. I'll choose Bright Ellipse and adjust the size so it's right on Zebra 1. I will go into Mask Properties, and now I have the option to adjust Opacity and Feathering. Opacity makes anything outside your area of interest darker, and feathering softens that transition between your focus area and the rest of the image. Okay, then I want to add another highlight area on Zebra 2, which I do by using the plus sign at the top, and I'll adjust the size down to put it right on Zebra 2, and now let's go to Motion Track. Since Zebra 2 is walking, I will use Precise for her and select Track and let that start processing. Now here's a fun fact while we are waiting. Did you know that every zebra stripe pattern is unique, like a human fingerprint? And do you know what zebras have that no other animals have? Well, baby zebras, of course. <laughs> okay, back to work. For zebra one, who is stationary, I will use quick motion to track him. So let's see what we have. Okay, our zoom in and highlights are good. But I don't like the highlight being up the whole time during the video clip. I would rather it come in when I'm zoomed in and then go away. One way to do this is to copy the video clip using right click or control C if you're a PC user or command C on a Mac and then move that clip video clip to an overlay track. I'll remove the highlight from the main video and then I will adjust that overlay video to just the time period that I want the highlight to be visible. And to make it look nice, I'll have it fade in and fade out rather than just appear and disappear. Okay, so let's see what we have. So there you have it. Some ways you can use Highlight Conceal and the new Motion Track feature. If you found this helpful, click like down at the bottom. 
And if you want to see more, you can go to my YouTube channel. And if you like what you see there, you can click subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.